Summary of the Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Challenges conventional self-help advice and offers a no-nonsense approach to living a meaningful life. Mark Manson presents a refreshingly honest perspective on happiness and success. Emphasizing the importance of embracing life's struggles and accepting our limitations. The book begins by debunking the notion that constant positivity and avoidance of problems lead to happiness. Manson argues the true happiness comes from confronting life's challenges and finding meaning in them. He encourages readers to focus on what truly matters to them, identifying their values and accepting the inevitability of pain and struggle. Manson introduces the concept of facts, representing the things we care about and invest our energy in. He advises readers to choose their facts wisely, directing their attention and effort towards what brings genuine fulfillment and disregarding trivial matters. Taking responsibility for our lives is another crucial theme in the book. Manson stresses the significance of acknowledging our choices, actions, and emotions as it empowers us to make meaningful changes and take control of our lives. Throughout the book, Manson uses candid anecdotes and humor to challenge readers to confront uncomfortable truths about themselves. He encourages embracing uncertainty and imperfection, recognizing that it is natural to make mistakes and have limitations. In conclusion, the subtle art of not giving a feck offers a counterintuitive and pragmatic approach to personal development. By accepting life struggles, prioritizing values, taking responsibility, and letting go of unrealistic expectations, readers can lead more authentic and fulfilling lives. The book reminds us that it is okay to be flawed, and that happiness doesn't come from avoiding problems but from embracing them and finding purpose within them. Chapter 1. Don't try. In the opening chapter of The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, Mark Manson challenges the conventional self-help idea of trying and positive thinking as the keys to success and happiness. He argues that constantly striving for positivity and trying to be happy all the time is unrealistic and counterproductive. Manson introduces the concept of the feedback loop from hell, where the more we try to be happy and avoid negative emotions, the more frustrated and unhappy we become. He believes that true happiness comes from embracing life's struggles and accepting that pain and problems are an inevitable part of the human experience. The chapter emphasizes the importance of choosing meaningful struggles over superficial pursuits. Manson encourages readers to be selective about the things they care about and invest their energy in. He suggests focusing on what truly matters and aligning actions with personal values rather than pursuing society's superficial markers of success and happiness. Manson introduces the idea that life is about making conscious choices and deciding what to give a fuck about. He challenges readers to let go of the need for constant validation and embrace the discomfort and uncertainty that come with pursuing meaningful goals. In conclusion, Chapter 1 sets the tone for the book by urging readers to reject the pressure to constantly try to be happy and perfect. Instead, it encourages a more honest and pragmatic approach to life, embracing struggles and choosing values that lead to a more fulfilling and meaningful existence. By letting go of the need to always be positive and accepting life's challenges, readers can begin to find genuine happiness and purpose. Chapter 2 Happiness is a problem. In chapter two of The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, 
Mark Manson delves deeper into the concept of happiness and its paradoxical nature. He argues that the pursuit of happiness as an end goal in itself can actually lead to greater dissatisfaction and unhappiness. Manson suggests that viewing happiness as a problem to be solved perpetuates a cycle of discontent as individuals continuously seek external sources of happiness that are often fleeting and short-lived. The chapter challenges the notion that happiness should be our default emotional state. Manson believes that humans are not wired to be constantly happy, and the pressure to maintain a constant state of bliss is both unrealistic and harmful. Instead, he encourages readers to embrace a more balanced view of emotions. Understanding that life naturally involves a range of feelings, including sadness, frustration, and anger. Manson introduces the idea of the backwards law, which states that the more we strive to feel happy and fulfilled all the time, the less likely we are to achieve it. By avoiding negative emotions and constantly seeking positive experiences, we deny ourselves the opportunity for growth and personal development that often comes from facing life's challenges. The chapter emphasizes the importance of accepting that happiness is not about avoiding problems, but rather about finding meaning and fulfillment in the problems we choose to tackle. Manson argues that true happiness comes from embracing life's struggles and taking responsibility for our choices rather than seeking instant gratification or blaming external circumstances for our discontent. Furthermore, Manson challenges the consumerist culture that promotes the idea that material possessions and external achievements lead to happiness. He suggests that the pursuit of endless pleasure and possessions can lead to a shallow and unfulfilled existence. Instead, he advocates for focusing on intrinsic values and experiences that bring genuine satisfaction and a sense of purpose. In conclusion, Chapter 2 offers a profound exploration of happiness and its complexities. Mark Manson urges readers to shift their perspective on happiness from an elusive goal to a journey of self-discovery and growth. By embracing life's problems, accepting the full range of emotions, and prioritizing meaningful values, individuals can find a deeper and more enduring sense of happiness and fulfillment. The chapter serves as a reminder that the pursuit of happiness should not be about avoiding problems, but rather about navigating life's challenges with authenticity, resilience, and a sense of purpose. Chapter 3 you are not special. In chapter three of The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, Mark Manson challenges the prevalent cultural trend of promoting individualism and self-importance. He argues that the notion of feeling special and unique can lead to entitlement and unrealistic expectations, ultimately hindering personal growth and fulfillment. Manson begins by pointing out the paradox of modern society, where individuals are constantly encouraged to believe that they are special and unique. Yet many struggle with feelings of inadequacy and low self-worth. This contradiction stems from the pressure to stand out and achieve greatness, which can lead to a sense of failure and disappointment when reality doesn't align with these grandiose expectations. The chapter delves into the concept of entitlement and how it impacts individuals' perceptions of themselves and their place in the world. Manson suggests that feeling entitled to success, recognition, and happiness without putting in the necessary effort can lead to an unfulfilled and discontented life. Manson advocates for embracing a more humble and realistic view of oneself. He encourages readers to accept that they are not inherently special and that true value and worth come from the effort and responsibility one takes in life. Instead of seeking validation and constant recognition, he proposes that individuals focus on their actions, 
values, and the impact they have on others. The chapter also touches on the idea of mortality and the inevitability of death. Manson argues that acknowledging our mortality can be liberating as it puts life into perspective and helps us prioritize what truly matters. This acceptance of our impermanence can serve as a catalyst for living a more meaningful and purpose-driven life. Furthermore, Manson challenges the belief that happiness and success are linear paths that continuously improve over time. He suggests that progress is often non-linear and setbacks and failures are an essential part of the journey. Embracing these setbacks and learning from them can lead to greater personal growth and resilience. In conclusion, Chapter 3 provides a thought provoking examination of the cultural obsession with feeling special and entitled. Mark Manson urges readers to let go of the need to be extraordinary and instead embrace a more humble and realistic view of themselves. By focusing on personal responsibility, values, and accepting the inevitable challenges of life, individuals can find a deeper sense of purpose and contentment. The chapter serves as a reminder that true fulfillment comes from embracing our humanity, embracing challenges, and striving for personal growth and meaning. Chapter 4. The Value of Suffering. In Chapter 4 of The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, Mark Manson explores the concept of suffering and its integral role in human existence. He argues that suffering is an inevitable part of life, and instead of trying to avoid it, we should embrace it as a natural and necessary aspect of personal growth and resilience. Manson begins by challenging the societal belief that happiness and success should be constant and effortless. He suggests that this expectation is not only unrealistic, but also detrimental, as it leads to feelings of inadequacy and a lack of preparedness to deal with life's inevitable hardships. The chapter delves into the idea that suffering has value and meaning. Manson argues that by facing and embracing our struggles, we can develop a deeper understanding of ourselves, gain wisdom, and cultivate a sense of purpose. He introduces the concept of positive feedback loops, where enduring and learning from hardships can lead to greater personal growth and a more fulfilling life. Manson also challenges the notion that all suffering is avoidable or a result of personal failures. He acknowledges that some forms of suffering are beyond our control, such as loss and death, and that attempting to avoid them is futile. Instead, he encourages readers to focus on how they respond to suffering and how it can shape their character and perspective. The chapter touches on the idea of the law of avoidance, which states that the more we try to avoid discomfort and suffering, the more it tends to persist. By accepting suffering as an inevitable part of life and confronting it head on, individuals can break free from the negative cycle of avoidance. Manson emphasizes the importance of finding meaning in our struggles and viewing them as opportunities for growth. He suggests that by shifting our mindset and accepting the value of suffering, we can find greater peace and contentment in the face of life's challenges. In conclusion, chapter four provides a thought, provoking exploration of the value of suffering and its significance in personal development. Mark Manson urges readers to embrace the inevitable struggles of life and view them as opportunities for growth and learning. By accepting suffering as a natural part of the human experience, individuals can cultivate greater resilience, wisdom, and a deeper sense of purpose. The chapter serves as a reminder that it is through embracing and learning from suffering that we can find greater fulfillment and meaning in our lives. Chapter 5. You are always choosing. In Chapter 5 
of the subtle art of not giving a fuck. Mark Manson explores the concept that life is a series of choices and we are responsible for the outcomes of those choices. He argues that personal responsibility is crucial for creating a meaningful life. And by acknowledging our power to choose, we can take control of our actions and responses to life circumstances. Manson begins by discussing the tendency of individuals to blame external factors for their problems and unhappiness. He challenges the victim mentality and encourages readers to recognize that they always have a choice in how they respond to challenges and setbacks. The chapter delves into the idea that we are not defined by our circumstances, but by the choices we make in the face of those circumstances. Manson suggests that it is our response to life's challenges that shapes our character and determines our path in life. Manson introduces the concept of responsibility denial and how it hinders personal growth. By refusing to take responsibility for our choices, we relinquish control over our lives and limit our ability to change and improve. The chapter emphasizes that taking responsibility does not mean that everything is our fault or within our control. It means accepting that we have agency over our actions and can choose how to navigate life's challenges. Manson also addresses the idea of determinism and how it can be used as an excuse for inaction. He challenges the belief that our lives are predetermined and emphasizes the importance of making choices that align with our values and aspirations. Furthermore, the chapter explores the impact of our choices on our relationships and interactions with others. Manson suggests that taking responsibility for our actions and emotions can lead to more authentic and fulfilling connections with others. In conclusion, Chapter 5 offers a powerful reminder of the importance of personal responsibility and the power of choice. Mark Manson urges readers to embrace the fact that they are always choosing, even in the face of challenging circumstances. By taking responsibility for their actions and responses, individuals can reclaim control over their lives and find greater meaning and fulfillment. The chapter serves as a call to action, to let go of blame and victimhood, and instead to take charge of one's choices and create a life that aligns with personal values and aspirations. Chapter 6. You're wrong about everything, but so am I. Manson begins by challenging the tendency of individuals to hold on to rigid beliefs and opinions, even in the face of evidence that contradicts them. He suggests that this unwillingness to admit being wrong often stems from a fear of vulnerability and a desire to protect our ego. The chapter delves into the concept of confirmation bias, where individuals seek out information that aligns with their pre-existing beliefs and ignore or dismiss information that challenges them. This bias prevents us from seeing alternative perspectives and hinders our ability to grow and learn. Manson introduces the idea that being wrong is not a sign of weakness, but an essential part of the learning process. He encourages readers to embrace uncertainty and be open to questioning their beliefs, as this can lead to personal growth and a deeper understanding of the world. The chapter also explores the notion of cognitive dissonance, where individuals experience discomfort when their beliefs are challenged. Manson suggests that confronting this discomfort and being willing to question our beliefs can lead to personal growth and a more accurate understanding of reality. Manson emphasizes the importance of intellectual humility and being open to changing our minds based on new information and evidence. He suggests that by acknowledging our fallibility, we can approach life with greater curiosity and a willingness to learn. Furthermore, the chapter addresses the impact of social media and the echo chamber effect on our beliefs and opinions. Manson urges readers to be mindful of the information they consume and to seek out diverse perspectives to gain a more balanced and nuanced understanding of the world. In conclusion, Chapter 6 
offers a compelling exploration of uncertainty and our capacity to be wrong, Mark Manson encourages readers to embrace humility and be open to questioning their beliefs. By acknowledging our fallibility and being willing to learn from our mistakes, we can foster personal growth and a more accurate perception of reality. The chapter serves as a reminder that uncertainty is a natural part of life and that being wrong is not something to be feared but an opportunity for growth and understanding. Chapter 7 Failure is the way forward in Chapter 7 of The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Mark Manson explores the concept of failure and its critical role in achieving success and personal growth. He argues that failure is not something to be feared or avoided, but rather a necessary stepping stone on the path to success and fulfillment. Manson begins by challenging the societal aversion to failure and the pressure to always appear successful. He suggests that the fear of failure can hold individuals back from taking risks and pursuing their goals wholeheartedly. The chapter delves into the idea that failure is a natural part of the learning process. Manson emphasizes that instead of trying to avoid failure, individuals should embrace it as an opportunity for growth and self-improvement. He introduces the concept of failure tolerance, which is the ability to withstand and learn from setbacks and failures. Manson also discusses the impact of social comparison and how it can distort our perception of failure. He urges readers to focus on their own progress and growth rather than comparing themselves to others. By detaching from external validation and expectations, individuals can develop a more resilient and authentic sense of self-worth. Chapter explores the stories of successful individuals who faced numerous failures and setbacks before achieving their goals. Manson highlights that failure is often a prerequisite for success and that it provides valuable lessons and insights that can lead to future achievements. Manson encourages readers to view failure as a means of course, correction, where setbacks and mistakes help us refine our approach and strategies. By adopting a growth mindset and being willing to learn from failure, individuals can turn adversity into opportunities for personal development. Furthermore, the chapter addresses the fear of judgment and how it can hinder individuals from taking risks and pursuing their dreams. Manson suggests that by accepting the possibility of failure and being true to oneself, individuals can find greater fulfillment and authenticity in their pursuits. In conclusion, Chapter 7 offers a powerful perspective on failure and its role in achieving success. Mark Manson challenges readers to reframe their relationship with failure, viewing it as an essential and inevitable part of the journey toward growth and accomplishment. By embracing failure as a learning experience and building failure tolerance, individuals can develop resilience authenticity, and a greater sense of purpose. The chapter serves as a reminder that failure is not a sign of weakness, but a stepping stone on the path to personal growth and fulfillment. Chapter 8 The Importance of Saying No In Chapter 8 of The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, Mark Manson explores the significance of setting boundaries and learning to say no to things that do not align with our values and priorities. He argues that saying no is essential for maintaining our mental and emotional well-being and for staying true to ourselves. Manson begins by addressing the societal pressure to say yes to everything, whether it's social obligations, work demands, or personal favors. He suggests that the fear of disappointing others or being seen as selfish often leads individuals to overcommit and neglect their own needs and desires. The chapter delves into the concept of the feedback loop from hell, where constantly saying yes to please others and avoid conflict can lead to burnout and resentment. Manson emphasizes that saying yes 
indiscriminately can deplete our time and energy, leaving little room for what truly matters to us. Manson introduces the idea that saying no is not only about setting boundaries with others, but also about setting boundaries with ourselves. He suggests that prioritizing our well-being and personal growth may sometimes require saying no to our own self-destructive tendencies and instant gratification. Manson also addresses the importance of being honest and assertive in saying no. He suggests that being clear and respectful in our communication can prevent misunderstandings and ultimately lead to stronger and more authentic relationships. Furthermore, the chapter emphasizes that saying no is not about being selfish, but about taking care of ourselves and making choices that prioritize our well-being and long-term happiness. Manson encourages readers to let go of the need for constant approval and to trust their intuition when it comes to setting boundaries. In conclusion, Chapter 8 offers a compelling exploration of the importance of saying no and setting boundaries. Mark Manson challenges readers to be more intentional in their decision making and to prioritize their own well-being and values by learning to say no. Individuals can reclaim control over their time and energy and create a more authentic and fulfilling life. The chapter serves as a reminder that saying no is not a sign of weakness, but a powerful act of self, care, and self-respect. Chapter 9, and then you die. In Chapter 9, of the subtle art of not giving a fuck, Mark Manson confronts the inevitability of death and the impermanence of life. He delves into the concept that acknowledging our mortality can provide a profound perspective on how we live our lives and the values we prioritize. Manson begins by discussing society's avoidance of the topic of death and the cultural tendency to distract ourselves from its reality. He argues that this avoidance prevents us from fully embracing life and making the most of our limited time. The chapter explores the backward law of pursuing happiness. Manson suggests that by accepting the inevitability of death and the fleeting nature of life, we can gain a deeper appreciation for each moment and find greater meaning in our pursuits. Manson introduces the idea that accepting mortality can lead to a sense of urgency to live authentically and in alignment with our values. This acceptance can motivate us to take action on our dreams and passions rather than postponing them for an uncertain future. Manson emphasizes that death is a natural part of life and that accepting its reality can help us let go of trivial concerns and focus on what truly matters. He suggests that by embracing our mortality, we can find greater peace and contentment in the present moment. Furthermore, the chapter addresses the fear of death and how it can influence our choices and behaviors. Manson encourages readers to confront their fear of death and see it as an integral part of the human experience. By acknowledging the inevitability of death, individuals can find greater freedom and courage to live authentically and pursue their passions. In the final chapter of The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, Mark Manson offers a powerful and thought-provoking perspective on the finality of death and its implications for how we approach life. He confronts the cultural denial of death and its impact on how we live, urging readers to embrace the reality of mortality as a catalyst for living a meaningful and authentic life. Manson begins by discussing society's aversion to discussing death and how this avoidance can lead to a lack of appreciation for the preciousness of life. He argues that acknowledging the finite nature of existence can instill a greater sense of urgency to make the most of our time and pursue what truly matters to us. The chapter explores the concept that when we die, all of our achievements, possessions and external accomplishments become irrelevant. 
Manson challenges the pursuit of material success as the sole measure of a meaningful life and encourages readers to focus on the internal values and experiences that bring genuine fulfillment. Manson introduces the idea that accepting the finality of death can free us from the need for constant approval and validation from others. By recognizing that life is fleeting, we can find the courage to live authentically and prioritize our own values and aspirations. The chapter delves into the concept of the narrative fallacy and how our desire to create a coherent and impressive life story can lead to self-deception and a disconnect from reality. Manson argues that the pursuit of a perfect life narrative can hinder our ability to accept imperfections and embrace the reality of our experiences. Manson also discusses the impact of social comparison and the desire to keep up with the Joneses. He suggests that by letting go of the need to measure up to others and focusing on our own journey, we can find greater contentment and self-acceptance. Furthermore, the chapter challenges the idea that we should constantly seek happiness and avoid pain. Manson suggests that by accepting that life includes both joy and suffering, we can find greater resilience and a deeper appreciation for the full spectrum of human experience. Thank you so much for joining me in this video, exploring the powerful insights from the subtle art of not giving effect by Mark Manson. I hope you found the summaries of each chapter helpful and thought provoking. If you enjoyed this content and found value in it, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could hit the like button and share your thoughts in the comments section below. Your feedback and engagement mean a lot to me, and it helps me know what kind of content resonates with you. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel Knowledge with Alim to stay updated on more book summaries, insightful discussions, and helpful content. Your support will motivate me to keep creating valuable videos for you. Thank you again for watching, and remember, Life is about embracing our struggles, prioritizing what truly matters, and living authentically. So let's continue this journey of learning and growth together. Until next time, take care and keep seeking knowledge.